all the ghetto, extravagant, resurrect the track and it's militant, and I react like a convict and start killing it's manifesto, the gods work like appliances, dealing in my cycle of life. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Nalto Explain here, bringing you guys a chapter discussion for Borzo Chapter 44. And I gotta say, when I read the chapter, this isn't a spoiler for the anime only. You guys know this Sumire is a character that pops back up in the manga. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. I'll give you a warning when I get ready to talk about it in the spoilers. But I gotta say, hands down, when she showed back up in this manga chapter, I was not expecting it. I was not expecting it at all. So, with that being said, for the anime only, only viewers i thank you for your support over 80 percent of the content on the channel is spoiler free we have almost 600 videos on this channel so i'm sure there's something you've not seen whether it be in the naruto to go playlist or after naruto shippuden or one of the naruto novels that i cover there's surely something on the channel you've not seen so i thank you for your support but with that being said if you're still here i'm gonna assume that you're you're okay with spoilers so i gotta keep it real with you man i'm not a huge huge fan when it comes to pairings like I, I'm not a fan but even I can look at this one and say I think that this is being set up I really think this is being set up there's too many similarities between these two characters to where I really feel like this is going to be a no-brainer now let me explain something I know someone's obviously gonna be typing in the comment section like dude one of your biggest videos is what if naruto married sakura what do you mean you don't care about pairings you've done what if hinata married kiba you've done a part two and you're working on a part three to what if naruto married sakura you're absolutely right you're absolutely right but i make those videos because people ask me to make the videos but anybody that knows me from naruto base knows like i wasn't necessarily i wasn't necessarily huge when it came to the pairings i really felt like naruto's shouldn't have ended up with anybody i felt like the hokage position and having the village should have been enough for naruto's character i felt like he didn't need a, a family to validate his journey but when it comes to kawaki when it comes to sumire i feel like this is what's gonna happen okay and i know i know for a while i said like hey i think sumire and boruto it might be hinata and naruto all over again because of how sumire is being portrayed in the anime and how uh boruto has been slowly getting portrayed in the anime and manga i felt like there was enough there to actually make that work and i've warned people like eternal hokage like boruto and sarda that's coming off like naruto and sakura was coming off like more like a, a brother sister relationship maybe something happens but more than likely it won't well now i think that there is some hope for boro saro fans and when it comes to sumire and kawaki i think that this ship is coming off so let's look at what brings these characters together okay so the very first thing is is Sumire is going to be working on Kawaki. Kawaki's body is the scientific ninja tool. She's currently in the scientific ninja tools weapons development team. She's been working side by side with Katasuke. She's very good at what she does. And when it comes to being in that interaction with Kawaki, one of the things that she's going to notice is that his callous, cold-hearted nature is something that she can relate to. Now, Sumire, you gotta go back to the very first arc. She represses a lot of that. She puts on the the actor, the class representative, and this whole shy, scared, scatterbug thing. Like she came off like one of those uh dogs. I can't think of the name of the dog, but it's one of those little itty bitty chirpy dogs where they get scared by every little thing like that's how I always viewed her and Hinata right but then once you found out that this chick actually had a backbone and that her father was associated with Donzo's root and she was carrying out her father's uh revenge against the hidden leaf village and you see how she was manipulated to go down a certain path because of basically her mother and her father because I think her mother got sick and her father manipulated her and it's been a while since I watched the academy arc but I remember the father had something really big on that to where she was carrying out her father's will. So when it comes to Kawaki, we also know that Kawaki doesn't come from the best background. Kawaki's father used to beat him. Kawaki's father said, you're so useless. I'm going to sell you to this random person who shows up at my doorstep who was Jigen. And Jigen proceeds to beat Kawaki and experiment on him and test him. And for a long time, Kawaki felt as if all of a sudden his life wasn't his own. His 
future wasn't his own, but once he met Boruto and started interacting with him, Kawaki saw that there was another life out there, much in the same way that Sumire saw that there was another life out there because of her interactions with Boruto, and Boruto was able to crack through that cold exterior that she was hiding. So I think that that is something right there that could work, and I think that it would be realistic if, even if you saw, like in the anime, when the anime gets a hold of this arc, probably in 2021, but I feel like this could be an opportunity where when they add in those extra scenes, they could flesh out by having these characters interact because just on the little small stuff that we got there in this chapter, you already got people shipping them together. But I think that a great starting point would be just how they can bond and just how they've been brought up. I think that that is something that works. I think that connection with Boruto is another thing that kind of brings them in together. And I think that just as Naruto and Hinata, when you look back in hindsight, Hinata had to prove people in her clan wrong that she wasn't useless. She had to prove that she wasn't somebody that got slapped around by Hanabi in the manga. I don't care what the anime did. Uh, she had to prove that she wasn't getting slapped around. She had to prove she wasn't a useless piece of shit. She had to prove that Neji wasn't just slapping her around and about to kill her because she couldn't put them hands up. Like Hinata had to overcome so much. And as she did, she started growing as a character. She went from a serial thumb twiddler to all of a sudden she was ready to throw hands with pain in order to protect Naruto. She was ready to throw hands with the Juby clones in order to prove herself. She was able to get through the Naruto and Naruto was at its darkest moment. We saw that gradual progression, okay? Just like with Naruto, you saw a gradual progression in the guy's character where he went from a clown, misfit, loser, absolutely stupid, to all of a sudden he's gaining more notoriety just as he had his ninja way, his ninja way directly inspired Hinata. I feel like with Sumire and Kawaki, there's too much there that you can build on to where you can craft a similar narrative. I think that that is something that could happen and it makes even more sense when you look at the fact that Boruto and Kawaki they're almost like a Naruto and Sasuke but they're different. What you're seeing with Boruto and Kawaki is basically what Naruto and Sasuke would have been if they would have been brothers. Okay, They're not necessarily rivals but they're more so brothers and they're very strong tempered and I think that each of these people interacting with the female in that, in that sense I think that in the case of Kawaki and with uh, Sumire, I think that those two, it wouldn't be forced writing. But I want to know from you guys, how do you guys feel about that? I might actually do a community response where, where I let you guys vote between which pairing you think needs to happen and then just kind of read your questions and comments. I think that is something I might do. Just depends on what the feedback is in this video. But so always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Have an awesome day, guys.